Eloisa here back with another video and I'm recording this the same time uploading it because I promised you all that I would have one video a week uploading while doing thesis. Thesis is due next Friday. Um, I've been eating really badly, not exercising, so I've been gaining weight, so that's, that's annoying because graduation, I have to look not like this. Anyway, um, today we're doing a reaction to Triple S NXT, which I'm assuming is Triple X Next. Um, just do it performance video, The Boys, Nectar, Candy Shop, Good Girl, and this is like the new girl group from Brave Entertainment, which I'm really interested in seeing because people say it's similar vibes to Brave Girls. Um, and then I'm reacting to Artemis Part 2, Flower Rhythm, Riz, Rizzy, love 119 and loose simple girls night because i feel like it makes sense uh but before i get there i did want to show you guys what i've been working on besides thesis and i'm basically launching an etsy probably when i graduate and i've been working on making like miniature little light stick variants so this is like a 1s one um i do actually have the little top but i want to show you guys this really cool thing because i want to make sure that i can do these and have them light up so right now i'm testing it with just like little led um not led string lights but i do have a way i think that i'm going to be able to make it more light stick esque but right now it's kind of like if i stick this like light in there and then I just close it. It actually works pretty well because I made a little stopper bottom. I won't close it all the way. But essentially, right now, uh, let me turn off this light so you guys can see. But right now, the base lights up. And it actually lights up pretty well because I tested it in the dark so like as a concert. And it works really well. But I'm trying to make the final variant where it lights up at the top. And so I have a new way of doing that. But yeah, this is kind of something i'm working on for the etsy shop i don't know what other groups to do so right now i just have like a basic various of variant of a 1s version because obviously i want to see 1s um some of them i was thinking if i had the ability to because i currently am at school i have access to resin printer at school but I, I won't have access to resin printer when i graduate um but because i have access to resin printer right now i actually made like the top right and so i would put the actual design inside so i actually have like the little one as globe i forgot where i put it but i would put it in here and then the whole point is it'll be like a little fan light stick variant so that's one thing i'm gonna be launching on the etsy um i also have mini versions but the mini versions i actually give away for free when i go to concerts like i gave a whole bunch away for one s at the one s concert and i'm trying to actually make light rings like the itsy ones because i'm gonna go to the itsy concert in june and i thought it'd be really cute to give mini versions of the light rings and those will actually light up if i can make it work but anyway launching etsy will actually really be fun because i make way too much stuff and i i really i really like this idea like a cute little fan version of a light stick um but yeah let, let me know what you guys think about this down below um let me know any other groups you want me to try to make um i do have a 3d printer so i can like make them in different colors like right now i have clear black and white but i mainly do prototyping in white because white is like the most basic one to test okay anyway so sorry for the random plug i just want to show you guys what i've been working on when i'm at work and not <laughs> dying over my thesis but uh let's turn on this light and you guys can see the bags under my eyes now perfectly and yeah so let's Get into this video. Ooh. Okay, 2000s vibe. Why did they get an MV? Why did they just get a fucking? I couldn't find an MV. If I if I just missed it, I'm sure someone will let me know. Okay, can't wait. <laughs> this sounds so similar to like a Luna subunit, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. 
Ooh. Also, why are we doing this extra long screen? Because it feels so, like, dark, right? But, like, especially with the backlighting of this space, it kind of feels like they all fade into, like, this abyss on the sides. This girl has to kick so much. vibes it's very like b-side-esque so i wonder if this is kind of like a teaser into what the group could be because i feel like this is like a, again it's not a music video and i feel like most of the time they've released well most of what i've seen from the more music video so i'm assuming this is more kind of like a teaser into the next subunit for triple s right because it's like because we had Triple S Aria earlier this year and they had an MV, so that's my only assumption of like this is like a test or a teaser seeing like I'm assuming these were members because you guys say that like they you guys get to help choose members in a way, like so it's like a voting system in a way. Um it makes me think of a lot of like AKB forty eight vibes when like with this group. And I, I always wonder like when does the group stop? Like when is it enough members? Because I think we've had like four or five units so far. So I'm very curious to see if this is their debut debut into the group or are they going to get like a music video like all the other songs well the other songs i've watched to be fair um there probably there could be some others that i haven't seen that aren't like mvs in a way but i'm very curious i'm curious to see where it goes because right now this song feels very much just like a b-side super chill very fan made like not fan made like made for fans and so i'm curious to see like the next steps and what we're going to be getting um from this particular subunit especially like four members i think i can handle that i think i can remember four members so we'll see okay let's move on to the next one five minutes fine i'll commit i'll commit to it why are we getting ice cream truck weird serenade horror movie intro It's giving Five Nights at Freddy Horror intro. Why is that the move I choose to do? Why we have a creepy bunny mask? Okay. I do it. Excuse me, what was he reading? Did that say the criminal something? I'm like making a, a whole like story in my brain. cranes thing or is it 1000 cranes i forget like the the reason people make like i think people it's like they make a thousand cranes and there's like you meant a wish at the end How do you- 
<gasps> it is giving horror movie. It's giving bullying. That makes no sense. Why would it be giving bullying? It's the juxtaposition for me of like the super colorful happy and then those random shots of like ominousness. Are we gonna get a creepy shot? Should I be concerned? I'm like tentatively watching. Congratulations! I'm assuming that's a diploma. <laughs> okay, this is behind the scenes. He's so handsome. Can I see what book you're reading, please? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is like behind the scenes, right? Like cutesy things. I'm just, I don't want to stop watching it in case like it has a tie into the MV again. Yeah, okay, it was just like a cutesy. Yes, it was, okay. You never know. You never know. Sometimes I do these stories and then it actually it has like a plot tie in, so I wanted to make sure I watched it through. It was a cute little like behind the scenes thing too. I think that probably a lot of like the boys fans really appreciate because I think the boys fans are very like I don't like unified is not the proper word, but you know what I mean? Like um the boys fans feel more like a family from what I see from afar. Like, I don't really see, like, bad things happening in the term, like, in the terms of their fandom. So I, I, I see them more of like, oh, we're like a family type of fandom, which is really cute. So it, I think it really ties in with the group you can see even at the end of their MV. But I, I think I was really curious as to the concept because they were doing a lot of pop things and I was trying to like look back and forth between the MV and the lyrics to make sure that I was trying to get as much information as possible because it feels as though there was some sort of plot about um, about like being hurt, being sad, right? There's even like the visuals with the paint, um, with the paint and like the paint is red and it's on his face and it looks like he was hurt. And then there's like two drops of blood on the, on the textbook notebook. And so, and then the shot, like the flash of like the very bright colorful poppy set into like this almost grayscale, like very gray tinted shot of them just like briefly before we go back into this very upbeat pop. Like it felt as though there was meant to be an alternate alternate story happening at times and i really i wish i was able to fully grasp it in one watch i'm probably gonna have to watch it again um in my own time i don't want to like bore you guys with me over analyzing things as i do every video um but it feels like there was an alternate plot line and i really i love story i say this all the time i really need to stop saying it but i do love stories okay i'm sorry i love plot and i really feel like i I'm going to need to spend more time with this one because I want to actually like understand and contextualize it. Um, obviously, if you are a uh, The Boys fan, please comment that down below. I think they've had a comeback recently because I follow Kiss of Life and I've been seeing them do songs with them. So I'm going to check if they have a comeback. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of thoughts, but I'm not, they're not clear enough to me yet without me watching it more because I really particularly want to understand the shots of that like bright happiness to that very like not dark but like muted sadder 
thing and I wonder if it because, like it shows them in high school if it has to do with something about growing up and like changing like losing friends and things like that but I I want to like really like evaluate that within myself more so I don't want to bore all of you guys with it I know you guys are mainly here to see <gasps> guys I've been making really cute little Spotify things uh for the Etsy concert super excited I've only made uh oh one album so far but i'm gonna make more but yeah okay random thought because i'm looking at the bag of my itsy merch that i'm making for their concert already anyway anyway um up next is candy shop good girl i'm assuming their name is candy shop this is a sponsorship isn't it it's giving sponsored also if they were in new york i don't think people would know they were a group yet because this is like their debut or pre-debut. Why is all why are all new groups coming out having like this very similar hairstyle? Even in the comeback, right? Like Natty, she went blonde, but she still had like the bob, the bangs, like the straight flat bangs, long. Like and then even Illit when they debuted, all of them had these hairstyles. What is it with this particular style right now? And it's a different style from Brave Girls, so I'm really happy about that. Because from looking at the image of the thumbnail, I was worried that it would sound like a Brave Girls song. Ooh. I love these outfits. A random, random part. This like whisper singing part, so random. But it it feels like this is my beat show. Like there's, like this is sounding like this would be more upbeat, but it's like just like super chill. Interesting. Okay. Was this a sponsored MV? Is like what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to guess, right? Um, so they are. Their name is Candy Shop. Um, that that's that's a choice for a group name. But you know, we we move we move forward. We accept K-pop groups being named the most random things nowadays. Um, but essentially. It's, a, it's an okay song. I don't think it's like the best if it is a debut song. I think it's okay. I don't know how much traction it's gonna get. Also, just because Brave Entertainment's really bad at advertising their girl groups, like really bad at it. Um, so I don't know how well this will perform, but I think it's an okay song. Do I wish there was more? Yes. Do I think this could go into like one of those like playlists of like people being like songs that have the same vibe as blank, right? I could see this in a playlist about like in the same vein of like maybe like Natty Sugarcoat or something like that. Um, mm, maybe not there. Maybe, maybe Illit Magnetic. I don't know. Like it, it just feels like it's fine, could be better. But it's fine we will accept what we get um i do hope that they do get better promotion because i have a feeling that a lot of people don't even know about this group in their debut especially because i think they came out like three weeks ago as of me reacting to it so i think that like brave entertainment needs to 
do their job better. Yes, I almost dropped something. I also found my Etsy test laser cut. So I'm doing, I also am gonna be selling Spotify thingies on uh, Etsy. But look how cute this is. This was like my first, I didn't draw like their eyes and mouth and stuff cause I wanted to have a little bit of a different aesthetic because I feel like if I drew their full face, it would look really creepy. So um, yeah, I'll be giving away like mini versions at the Etsy concert. And then I am going to be making like full scale um, Spotify things to sell on Etsy. I'm gonna be, so I currently have drawn a whole bunch of One Us. Obviously I have a whole bunch of Etsy I'm drawing and I'm also gonna be drawing some twice. But yeah, it, I keep so I keep hyping up this Etsy because I'm really excited about it because I really love doing things like this. Um, it is a great way for me to pass the time and not be stressed when I should be working on my thesis. I know, I know, my, my time management, horrible horrible it could be better um anyway up next is oh my gosh i should totally do a few like artemis um and lucemble but those would really be fun okay we're going forward uh so this is artemis pre two which i say part two uh flower rhythm i've been getting ads for this so you know what artemis is getting that promo and i love that because i feel like that shows that their agency cares. It's a more, it's an MV video, like a performance video, right? Everyone's blonde in this? No. It's Jim Silver Burgundy now. <gasps> Ooh, this styling, immaculate, especially with the vocal change. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Okay, okay, actually. I do wish the Chari's hair was a little less red. Like their blondes are a little like yellow blonde. I wish they were a little less yellow blonde. But I understand they but they all have like black brown, dark brown hair. It's really hard to get them to have like the Kim lip kind of blonde. Mm, I don't know. They did a pretty good job with each other. Okay. Pretty. I'm mean, so excited to see the MV MV from like this project they're doing. Ooh. really excited to see like the like MV MV like the final part of this because I'm assuming there's gonna be part three I assume it like it's leading to whatever like the big big release is gonna be for their album so I'm really excited to see kind of like what it's building to because I feel like it's building steadily I think part one is still my favorite just because part one just felt so beautiful okay but I really enjoyed this it reminds me a lot of um I believe there was a group in around 2021, 2022 that I was reacting to a lot. Um, ANS, I think something like that. Um, that was, and they were like competing with Alice for some reason at that time. But I remember that I I had similar, like a similar vibe watching this that I did when I watched that, um, that group. And I really like it. I'm very excited to see like what comes from this because both of these tracks have had different sounds. And so it'll be very curious to see, I'll be very, very curious to see how this transitions into 
the group because I, I like the abil- like their ability to have more flexibility within this agency because I feel like they're able to try a lot of different version- versions of music. Varieties, that's the word. And so I'm very I'm going to be curious to see if they will be able to continue that because I know they also did that in their previous agency. So it just feels like a staple of the group at this point to have a sound but have more variety in that aspect. So I'm very curious to kind of see going forward what they're going to choose to do because it, it seems as though they're having fun and they have a lot of creative control. But I'm curious to see more and kind of see what comes of like this miniature project within the group. Um, up next is Riz. Rizzy, um, love 119. Apparently one of the members was kicked out by the company. And I think people are trying to boycott, like, buying their albums and stuff or something until he comes back. I don't know what happened, but I've been, I've been seeing that, um, because I get, like, notifications for K-pop things randomly now. Um, so I'm very, I'm curious. Also, my friend really likes this group, um, and she barely listens to a lot of K-pop. Um, she listens to mainly, like, BTS. Blackpink, like you know the people who like entry entry level game. <laughs> That's what she listens to. But she was really she's really into this group. I can't read that. It's giving this. Also say they can sing live, like they say that they have good live vocals. Not you and her having the same hairstyle, cute. You can't do ballet in your uniform. Why do I make that face? <laughs> Save my life. Oh, did you stop to see if she was on the train? I feel like I was scared that she was going to pass away. <laughs> no. <gasps> Did she? It's giving 
she passed on. Um, anyway, she probably did. <laughs> I just look very deeply into plot points. I think, I don't, I think the only other song I've heard from them is like my guitar or guitar or something about guitars. Because my friend who really likes them, again, the reason I know them is she played their song in her car. So that's why I'm like so in tune with them existing. But I like this song. I do think that I'm curious to see more, right? I'm curious to kind of see like what route they choose to go in, especially within like this concept of like, um, it feels like day six in a way but they're not like a band but it feels like they are a band like it feels like a day six but it's not a day six group you know that makes sense right like they don't play instruments but it very much feels like you could put them in the category of like is it i don't know how to say them like zykers x i k e r s i don't know how to say them but like them and you can also put them in the same category as one we stand one we um you can also put them in the same category as like the rose like i feel like this is the vibe the group ex exudes which is very interesting because it's definitely a boy group like choreography and things like that but it feels like it would fit so well in a band genre which i'm very interested in like why i feel that it could be the the way that the songs are like written and produced it could be the um way that they perform the way that they sing like feels more like a group focus on heavily singing and less on dancing like there's something about the group that isn't completely performing in the same way that i feel like other groups perform which is very like it's very intriguing to my brain because my brain likes to overanalyze and it's starting to do that right now so we're gonna move on before i like completely overanalyze this whole thing but yeah it's super interesting I'm, i wonder where they're gonna go uh going forward with their music okay last song of the day is lucemble girls night oh uh, i need to stop dropping things i my room looks like i live in a storage unit i need to clean it but i can't clean it until i finish my thesis it's really <gasps> Ooh, this is my favorite song. It's gonna be my favorite song. Let's make a night for us. Okay, come on. You gotta see the light. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. This is my vibe. This is my aesthetic. No one said they could look this pretty. That's kind of mean. <gasps> okay, styling. I love this. I love it. I love it. Okay, untouchable vibes. That's a stunning outfit. Why is Olivia so pretty? Like, it's kind of mean. See the bangs? The trending bangs? It's giving group of visuals. Why are the outfits so good?
10, 10, it's so good. It's, it's, uh, listen, listen, listen. My favorite song, my favorite song of the day. <gasps> we have a minute left. Plot, continuation. We truly love using BB for plot, I gotta say. Oh, ominous. Why is there a duck? Is that a duck? It's a duck. Oh! <gasps> oh! It's giving reptilian. What does that mean? What does that mean? I have so many questions. Let's start now. I can talk. What does that mean? It gave it gave me like three 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 thoughts. One, she could be going on a hiatus, going back to school, something. I don't know. Two, it's giving. Obviously, there's gonna be a plot continuation of the story or three solo song or duet duo like right like if feet like what what does her disappearance tie into like what does that mean i think they also just really love disappearances because i remember in the first mv that i watched by them there was the whole like two two women in the car and they drove to the car and then they like the car disappears and then it goes into the story of the mv so i wonder if that's like a, it's going to be a thing for the group in a way i'm very curious right because it it leaves so many questions and it is very open right in terms of like i can imagine excuse me um them doing something along the lines of this and then it leads into like a solo song it it could be she's on a hiatus like please don't be on hiatus that would actually like i think kill people hurt people <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm very curious, I'm very curious to see, like, what this turns into, right? I'm so curious. I have so many questions. I have so many thoughts, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait to find out. Um, I should go write my thesis. I really don't want to. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I need to graduate. It's fine. Okay, if you guys like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, this will be up today because I'm recording the same day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.